Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to be trying my best to showcase Professor X, his strong sides and uh, later on towards the end of the video talk about uh, his shortcomings and uh, my overall evaluation of the character. So we are starting up with a damage showcase and in order to do that I'm going up against Labyrinth of Legends Red Hulk and I have fast, fast forwarded uh, the initial uh, part of the fight because one thing that becomes immediately apparent about Professor X that he is a ramp up champion. Now, uh, objectively, uh, he really doesn't have the end to the ramp up, therefore, he has the potential to reach some of the highest damage output in the game. However, he doesn't really start all that impressive and as we're gonna see here uh, the first kind of like part of the fight is really going slow and only once you really get those promises going your damage reaches some very impressive uh, levels and numbers but in order to do that obviously you do need to invest some amount of time and it might not necessarily always be the easiest thing to do depending on the fight circumstances another thing to note is that professor x has a relatively pathetic base level damage output as in with his base attacks his heavy attacks even though his attack is among among the higher end he doesn't really have any other way to increase his damage on his basic attacks so uh medium attacks heavy attacks stuff like that it's always going to be quite underwhelming he does make up for it uh, with his promise and with his special attacks but any matchup where you are limited in your accessibility to special attacks is not really going to be great for professor x's damage output but uh, now we can see that at this point uh, we have like 13 14 promise already i'm going to lose my combo in a moment and uh, that is the point where i'm going to slow the fight down because at this point starting from 14 promise we can see that red hulk is already at 44 percent it took us about 100 and what 40 hits to get here or close to that and uh, now once we have done the 140 hits his damage output comes in a very big burst and uh, it can really uh, do the work so i'm gonna go in for another level three and straight after this level three we're gonna see that i'm gonna be able to drop multitudes of special attacks and it's going to result in quite a big burst of damage and uh, that also pretty much inevitably means that professor x is kind of much more suited for longer fights and that isn't really a good thing because for vast majority of the content you want to focus on the champions that excel in medium to short level fights because that is what you typically play. Even Alliance War is relatively medium to short level fights. Alliance Quest is medium to short level fights. Only the bigger piece of content that come out very seldom reward champions with this type of kind of ramp up. And uh, here we can see though, once you have ramped up, Stam output definitely is quite impressive. Unfortunately, it isn't ideal for most uh, fights in the contest and it isn't what you're gonna mainly use any given champion for so now we're gonna see i'm about ready to kind of like start my uh initial not initial but uh, final um burst of damage i nearly lost my promises there so you always have to be careful to keep that eye on the timer see how many promises how much time you have left till you absolutely must refresh them you refresh them by either char uh, by launching a special attack and dashing backwards basically is what you're doing and you gain more prowess by using a special attack and lunging forwards or launching an attack so it's a uh, quite simple overly me mechanic and here we can see that this uh, last health percentages of red hulk went down extremely quickly total fight 297 hits so it's definitely not bad and he is a quite good champion for longer fights but how about realistic normal sized content so first we're going to be showcasing his ability to completely shut down evades and miss and the good thing about it is because it doesn't rely on any debuffs and you also don't necessarily need opponent to be let's say able to parry or anything like that uh, it's quite easy to achieve and maintain for pretty much entire fight therefore he is reliable sustainable and uh, very 
simple to use once you have gotten kind of like used to his mechanics champion to counter await and miss mechanics unfortunately he cannot counter miss uh, by tech champions so that means that one of the more annoying characters currently in the game with miss mechanic would be guillotine 2099 and that is uh, definitely not ideal but uh, for vast majority of scenarios uh, he definitely is a reliable await and miss counter and even after you have gone like full cycle it's very easy to get back to those 25 charges with basically a single heavy attack and you can have access to that thanks to that palter mechanic now that palter mechanic is something that uh, can be utilized extremely skillfully but for most part for most players it will work as a safeguard and now here i am using a four star rank three uh professor x in act five and this is 5.4 so the opponents are relatively stacked definitely four star rank threes aren't the typical characters to clear this content typically this uh, i would say is a maxed out four star power level maybe rank four five stars because that is with what we kind of initially had to clear it when uh, 5.4 came out we pretty much only had one rank four five star and a bunch of maxed out four stars so having a rank three four star in this content shows that he can punch upwards and here is that uh, good benefit of having consistently increased damage output in longer fights so that means that he can be one of those champions that you bring in maybe slightly under ranked maybe not quite at a max rank level or maybe not the highest star level and he can still get some of these fights done as we can see here uh, we are building steadily some prowess charges i'm building more of uh, my uh side charges or how they call them i forgot how much channeling charges and it's very easy to have basically 25 or more for the entire duration one useful thing is if opponents are in fact stun immune or if they have limber if you can punish their special attacks or their heavy attacks with the heavy of your own that significantly helps and uh, professor x's heavy attack actually has better reach than initially would seem and that is definitely a good thing because champions like let's say Hulkbuster are quite heavily hindered by very short reach heavy attacks and Professor X doesn't really struggle in that area and here we can see that uh, I have five promises that I just refreshed and basically gonna drop one heavy attack and uh, my awakened ability is gonna take me to the 25 that I needed in order to completely shut down that evade. Now in this fight <laughs> I have taken more block damage than I would have liked to, but keep in mind that Professor X is at rank 3 4 star doing act 5.4 content, so it's not too bad, not too bad at all, and unlike many other champions, he doesn't have to rely on placing a debuff on opponent in order to counter that evade, like slow debuff or cold snap debuff or whatever else you have and uh, that is quite useful that effectively kind of like puts it on a level where you have access to true strike and true accuracy because most of their weight counters do rely on some sort of debuff to be placed on opponents and another relatively niche utility uh, that i'm showcasing here is that you guys are not even really uh, seeing but uh, this is 6.31 fight on reverse controls so obviously professor x being the master uh mind controller himself is immune to reverse controls in the game and uh, that isn't something that comes in play too often but it's also something that uh, is quite useful and quite rare in the game because we do not have too many champions that are actually immune to reverse controls on the same side we do have plenty of champions that perform extremely well against reverse controls. Typically, I personally kind of just like to quote unquote outskill some of these fights and use champions that for the most part rely on like parry heavy attack because those controls uh, do not get reversed, only dash in and dash out are reversed. And uh, I for the most part use like Captain America Infinity War or Archangel or Quake and then you can outplay those reverse controls but if the fight is in itself inherently very difficult then obviously you would prefer somebody who is fully immune to reverse controls and that can be professor x uh, if the circumstances align well enough and this is also a good opportunity to showcase the fight length in deep in act six basically kind of like a standard act six fight which uh, took me 55 hits so that's definitely not the highest number for the longer fights 
And the last bit that I wanted to show that obviously ability to pump special attacks can come in handy on the, these power shield nodes where you have increased special attack damage. And uh, this is from 6.35, I believe. Uh, power shield node or basically special attacks deal 400% damage. And uh, the whole point of this fight is to show that once you actually reach that level 2, you will be able to uh, absolutely blitz through the fight because when you use special attack, you do not use too much of your uh, power bar and you're able to consecutively drop multiple special attacks, which at times can be extremely valuable for sure. And uh, now I'm just trying to get that incinerate on the crossbones. And uh, once I do, well, I did and he shrugged it off, but here... I get another one. Um, you can start ripping it completely open. You can see that two special attacks, three, this is a third special attack in like one burst cycle. And I'm just gonna go in and drop some level ones who at this point are already dealing significant amount of damage. And the fight is over, basically get your level two and just drop a ton of special attacks on your opponent. If special attack damage is increased, great stuff now unfortunately some negatives and first and foremost definitely his health pool is one of the lower ones he has like every more level of health pool so he's quite fragile there you could see that his 27k health pool doesn't quite compete with let's say night thrasher who has like average health pool of 31k captain america infinity war is an average health pool champion of nearly 32k and i think even like domino has like 30k or something like that and uh Another thing to note against this, against non-tech champions, is uh, the await and miss counters. So tech champions, you cannot counter this way. That is also quite important to note. But I think the most fundamental thing that I generally dislike about Professor X personally, I could deal with everything else with him being a ramp-up champion, with him uh, having whatever uh, else flaws, is the fact that uh, his, well, number one would be the synergies do not affect him, and number two would be that arguably his best synergy would be the one that uh, makes any mutant champion suicide friendly, and he could technically be kind of like an awesome suicide access machine for every single mutant champion in the game and enabling them to heal from suicide masteries. However, he himself is arguably one of the most suicide unfriendly champions. And in practical kind of like fights and setups, it's extremely hard to actually achieve the ideal setup that you want where you can go and bring in Professor X and get those Cerebro charges ramped up so then you can like use any mutant champion with Suicide Masteries because Professor X uh, himself is so unfriendly to Suicide Masteries. Now there is a rotation that you can play uh, with largely relying on special threes but then you lose quite a bit of Professor X's like actual appeal of spamming those special attacks consecutively in my opinion. And uh, that's far from ideal. And uh, there's obviously the lack of any notable immunities. And I think the biggest flaw Professor X really faces uh, at this point is that he doesn't really do anything special. And whatever he is able to do, we already have champions who do it better. For instance, if we walk back through the video dealing with a weight on debuff immune matchups it's cool but uh i'd still prefer using quake and ghost because both of them are objectively better champions and can cover vastly more different tricky fights so whenever i would bring professor x in the quest i well i would rather bring quake or ghost in at my questing team rather than professor x just because i would rely on Quake and Ghost being able to do more matchups. And it's not just Quake and Ghost, there's plenty of champions who you can use instead of Professor X to counter a Wade that do more than Professor X does. And then the power shield nodes, we have plenty of champions against like Ghost, Hyperion, I don't know, Doctor Doom, who can spam special attacks like there's no tomorrow. So it's nice, neat that he can do it, but he's not even close to top five champions or that would be recommended for that node, I would say. And the same, as I mentioned before, for reverse controls, you can, t for most part, outskill that node. And even if you can't outskill, I think in more scenarios, I'd like to rely on combo of Mysterio and Emma Frost, for instance. Uh, so, unfortunately, as a standalone champion, I don't really value Professor X too highly. Having a very good ability to counter Miss and Wade 
is fantastic, but its impact is also hindered by the fact that you do require some damage ramp up. So that's not the type of thing you typically want to do in Alliance War or Alliance Quest. And uh, him having a very small health pool, him being extremely suicide unfriendly. Uh, as a standalone champion, I'm not in love with the guy. He's not a bad champion by any means, but it's just I don't think he's particularly amazing. Obviously, synergies are amazing and they can make any mutant champion much, much, much better. But the question is, are you willing to kind of compromise on your questing team and your ability as a whole by trying to go through the hard work of ramping up Professor X in order to unlock kind of like full potential of your other teammates? And uh, for me, in most kind of like serious scenarios, probably the answer would be no. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you, I haven't kept you guys too long. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that sub button. We're currently pushing to 30k subs. So any help uh, would be greatly appreciated. And uh, that is about it. I'm going to catch you guys soon and see ya.